to serve on that. That has a, that has a lot to do with regional issues. We're looking at financial policies. That's the one. The ad hoc committee down oh. at the bottom, municipal service review. Oh yeah, I'd be interested in that. Just mm -hmm. critical for annexation issues. Yeah, I'd be interested in that. Capital improvements. Uh, was that previously Thomas and Crane? Thomas mm -hmm. and McCowan. Thomas and McCowan. Yeah. Uh, Doug, do you, are you willing to, hand, uh, to serve on that? Sure. Okay, strategic, okay. Financial policies was Doug Crane and Phil Baldwin, and I think we were a great team. <laughs> Which one? The very bottom ad hoc. Did you? At least on my list, on my list. Planning? We didn't. Mm. Yeah, we just, Crane and, Crane and Roden would, would. Well, strategic planning is that one that's related to a priority, and it was Thomas and Baldwin, right? It was previously? No, there was, um, there was Thomas and Roden. Well, that, that's a lot point. of work. Uh, both you too, you, Thomas and Roden have been assigned a lot, but do you want to continue? No, because sometimes it's hard for me as uh, I'm working full time. Yeah. Um, no, the, this, the one that's down here is strategic planning. Is that the one you're talking about right now? Yeah. It's I don't want, I mean, I would be happy to turn that over to Ms. Landis. Okay, Thomas and Landis will, whatever, I'm not sure what that means, but the ad hoc strategic planning committee is Thomas and Landis. <laughs> Financial policy is Crane and Baldwin. Um, I've got a, a question about the ad hoc committees. Um, I've had a conversation um, in the last week with a member of the public um, who expressed a concern about uh, a specific department and um, my suggestion to that individual was rather than bring up that concern in a, in a um, first of all in a public meeting that that person meet with the responsible subcommittee um, to um, to see if, if this can be ironed out in a way that is um, more comfortable for all involved. Um, I'm not sure which subcommittee that person would it, meet with. It would be that strategic planning, which is a misname that's confusing us, but is related to that priority that said we want to improve our services and okay. our relationship both with working and with employees and with council. Okay, thank you. I will get back to that individual with that information. And I don't think uh, because of the Brown Act issues, we, should, we shouldn't at this point even talk about other ad hoc committees. An, an ad hoc committee is something that's time. set up for to deal with a specific problem that's sort of you know, has a, has a beginning and an end. It's not an, it doesn't have ongoing subject matter jurisdiction where it's dealing with a general topic and it goes on and on. It's to deal with something that has to be dealt with. It doesn't necessarily have to be something that can be resolved in a week or a month, but it, it's a specific issue that's come up that you need to uh, address. But we do, Ad we do hoc want someone to sense. continue John McCowan's uh, work with the Palace Hotel uh, Committee uh, I'd be willing to do that. You've got a lot on your plate. Right. Well, maybe Ms. Landis wants to do it. I uh, mean, John I McCallan mean, was attending the group that's working on right. preservation of the Palace Hotel. Right. Um, I'm, I'm alternate on a number of things, so after I attend them for the initial meetings, I guess I could attend that. Um, or we could trade it. I mean, my husband's on that group also, so oh, that's I don't know heavy-duty conflict. It's not really a conflict. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a lot of effort from one family to go into that project. Um, but and it's a worthy project. I'm not saying that, but um, I think I'm going to say I'd okay. rather someone else did it. Okay. So, Mari, would you? If you're saying no, and Mari, I, well, I'm already heavily booked. It's not on the list. We can, okay. we can discuss it at a later point. I'll, I'll start initially anyway and see how things go. Uh, uh, any further uh, discussion on Councilman? I just wanted to clarify the city attorney's point. These four ad hocs related to the priorities in my vi thought thinking them through were to get us to a point through this um, budgeting process for the next year following up on the 
um, strategic planning that the council had already done. So I don't see them necessarily going on in uh, year by year. I think once we get through this budgeting cycle, we're going to have the goals and objectives that we create through that, that then we can decide how we want to deal with them in future. So I just see these ad hocs kind of serving us between now and June. Okay. Great. Further discussion? We're going to move, we're going to move on to council reports. Um, excuse me. A um, no, couple a, things. Um, there was a session item got put to the end. Sunhouse I mean, Guild I'm consent take it calendar item. Because I'm doing it. Oh, that's right. Thank you very much. Oh. Sunhouse Guild is on. Okay, I left that off. I, I have well, it, was, it was, yeah. Oh, excuse me. And UPT. <laughs> Are you volunteering to be the liaison to the Sunhouse Guild? I. That wasn't why I brought it up. I brought it up because it's on the sheet. I'll, I'd be glad to do it. It's a, it's a, it's of interest to me. Okay, you're there. UPT. UPT is not on the list. Well, but I've been doing it. Often, okay. Sort of, but Mary, I'm the vice president, so I can do it too. That w I attend those meetings, so I might as well be okay. the person. Um, Ukiah Players Theater. Well, Ukiah, Pl uh, Marianne Lannis will be a liaison to the Ukiah Players Theater. Uh, the Sunhouse Guild has been handled by Council Member Thomas. Friends of the Palace, Mari Roden will, will initially uh, work with that group. And trailer park. trailer park issues, I would like to work with Mr. Thomas on that. Great. Any further discussion of uh, commissions? Yes. Um, I have been attending, um, but not as an official city representative, most meetings of the Russian River Flood Control, um, which um, can be sometimes really quite entertaining, um, and it fits in with my also my attendance at, at Inland Water and Power. Um, I'm just mentioning that because uh, at the time that I started doing it, I, I um, announced that to the council. Uh, so that they would understand that's what I was doing, but in an unofficial capacity. In terms of, I think you've, I've, you've gone over this at least 10 times in, in, since I've been here, but <laughs> if several of us were to show up at, for example, at a meeting of the Russian River Flood Control, there's no, are there no, not you Brown can, Act issues? No, you can attend an, a, a regular agenda meeting of another public agency as long as you don't deliberate among yourselves and your only participation is between you and the group that you're, you know, the, the, the uh, board that you're, who's meeting you're attending. Okay. Now we're going to take up item 11B, which is 7C from the consent calendar. Authorization to award purchase of digester cleaning services to wastewater solids management company at a price of $19,690. This was a, uh, a request from a member of the public. Mr. Graff, would you please introduce your concerns? <coughs> John Graff speaking um, for the Employers Council on Mendocino County. Um, the concern here is how this device fits in with the um, rebuilding of the, or the uh, remodeling or the redoing of the existing plant. I would like to get an understanding um, how that fits in with with the new plant is this is this, this going to be thrown out when it's done? You mean that's one of the quite thoughts, and I would just like to know how it's working with. That. <coughs> uh, director, um, no, this is just part of the maintenance of this facility. It's going to be something that's going to be online. So this is a maintenance issue that we go through every uh, so often. So it's it's part of the new plant as well. But it, but it is a device that's going to be used in the plant. So when you say maintenance, I'm supposed to ask the mayor, not you. Uh, so when he says maintenance, does it mean that every so many years they have to replace this particular item? Because I'm, uh, I'm just looking at it. I'm confused with we're, if we're spending millions of dollars to rebuild it, how this fits in. Is it a device or is it a service related?